I need your help, please help me. Many people came to me for help. So you can watch this on video. YouTube. Uh, YouTube, Pastor Yip YIP. And then you look for people. People means people hurting us. Yeah. People and then Pastor Yip. And then you can see the videos and then you can learn from it. So the main thing is people cannot really hurt us. Do you believe that? Yes. If God protects me, no one can really hurt me. Amen. Let me share with you some experiences. I was in a traditional church. I was not only a pastor. I was a professor in a seminary. I was a professor of the department that ordained pastors. So these people graduated, they can be ordained as pastors. But I experienced the Holy Spirit, and I shared with the students, and I lay hand on them. And they experienced the Holy Spirit. But someone reported to the president. Someone is laying hand on the students in the seminary. So the, the, the supervisor above me talked to me and told me not to do that anymore. And so I did not do that in the seminary. And I did it in secret. But someone saw that and then reported to the seminary. And then also in the traditional church, they tried to get me out. Finally, they succeeded. I did leave the church. Now to humanly speaking, it seems that I lost. But God opened a wider way. But not right away. First, I had a, over one year of praying, long hours of praying to experience the Holy Spirit more, to build up the anointing. And then I had to leave Hong Kong because my wife could not get used. My first wife already passed away, but she could not get used to Hong Kong and I had to go back. And it was difficult for me for 10 years. But I keep believing God has a plan. God has a way. No one can take away the plan. And I keep trusting in God and relaxing in God. And God taught me this joyful victory. Put down all the burdens, all the hurts, God has a way and then finally God set me free and now I could come back to Hong Kong and go to all nations and God provide for me so God prepare me first before I can go to the nations to help people to overcome the problems of people and if you're willing to do that you can overcome the problems of people Amen. so realize that the negative words are garbage we don't have to take it when they say it now some people are like this if they say something negative, oh, we fall down. And then we say, Lord, help me, help me, help me. Oh, please help me. And finally get up. And then they say at a time, they say a negative word. Oh, we're hurt again. Oh, terrible. Lord, help me, help me. Now, some people are like that. Every time when someone attack them, immediately they fall down. But this is what I do. They attack me. Doesn't matter. What he said has no authority. Say, the negative words has no authority. I don't have to take it. I don't have to eat garbage. Now imagine you go home, your husband or wife said to you, why did you go today? Why did you spend so much time out there? Why didn't you come home and cook for me? Then what's your response? What's your response? You don't know God, you don't like God business. Now, is there anger when he talk like that? Yes. yes. Yeah. There is anger. Yeah. Do we have to respond in anger? No. We discern he has anger. I don't have to have anger. But this takes time. It takes time. I don't have to have anger. Because, you know, the, all the mocking of the people fall onto Christ. All the mocking that came to us fall onto Christ and I don't have to take it. The main thing is this is from sinners or from crazy people. Now don't tell them, a, don't say you're a sinner or you're crazy. Don't say that. It's just in the heart, discern, but don't, don't curse them in the heart. Don't say you're a sinner. You're, you're a crazy man. Don't say that. It just say, I'm just using that as an illustration. We won't take the words of a crazy man. So we won't take the words of a sinner. It's just in the heart we discern that and won't take it. And then we overcome wickedness with goodness. But you say, how can you do it? The key to that, God told me. God told me how to teach too. People who hurt you have been hurt many times. Have they been hurt many times? Yes. They've been yelled at by people all the time. So they hurt a lot. 
And so they think the only way is to be angry at people. And they thought anger, the angry man is the victorious man. Is that true? Is the angry man the victorious man? No. No. But they believe that. So the whole life is full of anger. And they don't have real friends. Angry people, it's hard to find real friends. So their life is miserable. And one day God will pursue after them. And they have to stand in front of God. So their life is miserable. So I have compassion on them. I have compassion on them. And I bless them. And then I can forgive them. Because when I look at the life and say, he has a lot of problems. He might be crying at home. He might be yelling at other people. His life is miserable. So I have compassion on them and forgive them. Can you do that to the one who hurts you? Yes. Now you might say, it's not easy, it's not easy. He has taken many things from me. But the more we're angry, the more he'll take from you. Do you believe this? Yes. If we get angry with him, he'll take more. Satan will take more from your life. But if you say, it doesn't matter, God will pay it back to me. I'm sure that that's what Joseph said. You know, this is Genesis 50, verse 20. He said to his brothers, you intended to harm me. You wanted to harm me, but God intended for good. Says Genesis 50, verse 20. To accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. God intended for good. So all these years I suffered, it was intended for good. So I can teach many people and help many people. Do you believe that? Yes. All the evil done to you can be turned to be good. Yes. If you don't take it seriously. Now, let, me, let us have an exercise. Two persons facing each other. One pretend to be a sinner and yell at the person, you are no good. And then the other person respond in a nice way. Now, you look at a person's eyes and try to learn this. Inside, you turn it off. Can you try to do this now? Turn to one person, and one person, it's just a play. But it makes, give you a real feeling. It gives you a real feeling. The person will say, now don't say to something too bad, it just say, you did not do it well. You did not do it well, okay? Just say something simple like that. Don't say something too bad, okay? You did not do something well. But look at the person's eyes. And then you sense the anger. And then how can you handle it? Now try. <laughs> now try to respond in a nice way, in a victorious way. Try to do it now. Try to do it now. Can you do it with a partner? Yeah. Okay, try it. Now, to the person next to you, you, you do it to her. No, no, no. You do it to him. Okay, just find someone. You turn around. Okay, 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 do it now. Now, what I want to do. You get the feeling, you get the feeling of someone saying something negative to you. Oh, okay. But then you want to say something nice back. You can say something like, thank you for reminding me. I'll try to work on it. I'll work hard on it. Thank you. I'm sorry. Or you can say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? Try it. Try it. Why you say that? You did it already? Okay. Try it with someone else. It just get the feeling. Just get the feeling. When someone says it to you, can you overcome it? Everyone try it. Everyone try it. Did you do it? Okay. Now, the main thing is, let me say this. In order to be victorious in this area, it has to be intentional. When you go home, you have to be intentional. Mm -hmm. If you have someone angry at your home, when you open your door, you have to be, be prepared. Yeah. Today, he might yell at me, but how can I respond in a way that doesn't affect my joy? Now, the reason for me, 
Because at that time I experienced the Holy Spirit. I have the joy of the Lord all the time. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and I have the joy of the Lord all the time. And I notice that if I get angry, I can lose the joy. Now look at me now. Don't everyone look at me now. I notice that if I get angry, it takes away my joy. So I decide to keep the joy all day long and not let anyone affect me. Now this has to be intentional. It takes effort and you need the presence of God to do that. So when someone yells at you, in your heart you say, Lord, help me. Help me to forgive. Help me to have compassion on the person. Help me to understand him and to bless him. And God give me a five step to victory. Write this down. Five steps to victory. One, aware. Aware. A-W-A-R-E. I'm aware He's affecting me, aware, aware. Whatever problem it is, whether it's sin or negative feeling, negative thinking, I'm aware. Number two, five steps to victory. First one. First one is aware, A-W-A-R-E. That's aware of the problem. Aware that I'm affected by somebody. Aware that I have anger. Yes. Yes. Aware. A-W-A-R-E. Number one is aware. Second, number two, destructive. When I'm aware I'm affected by someone, it is destructive. It will destroy my life. If I get angry, if I get angry, it will destroy my ministry, right? If if the pastor says to you, oh pastor, you've got angry easily, we don't want to ask him to come again, it will destroy my ministry. And number three, biblical teaching, or just say Bible. So what does the Bible say? The Bible says overcome evil with goodness. The Bible says forgive. Number four, pray for forgiveness and for strength. For two reasons. For forgiveness, if I've done anything wrong, pray for forgiveness and strength. Five, choose to obey, choose to obey. So I use this illustration. Someone yell at me and I'm angry, I'm aware of it. Number two, I know it's destructive. Number three, what does the Bible say? No one can hurt me, I, can, I don't have to be afraid of people. God blesses me, I, don't, I can, uh, I can uh, bless the person. And number four, pray for forgiveness and strength. And then number five, choose to obey. So I pray for strength and ask God to forgive me. And then number five, I choose to bless him. And then God will say this in heaven. I'm so happy he chose to obey. He chose to bless the person. And you can tell yourself that. Remember the interactive prayer I talked about the first day? You can have this interactive response of God. You can say this to yourself. When I choose to obey, God is very happy in heaven. And God blesses me for that. And then when we sin, we can say this too. When we sin, God is unhappy. So I want to repent and ask God to forgive me. Okay? So anytime we're aware of some negative thinking, negative feeling, we are affected by people, we want to change that. Now, any, any questions? Now, this five step to victory, there is a simple version. Simple version is one, four, five. When you're aware, you pray, and then five, you choose. So just one, four, five is a simple version. Any question, maybe about some situation. Now, I want to say one situation first, for instance. For instance, someone had a husband who divorced him or divorced her already. And then she lost a lot of money. And then she got angry of that because of that. He had hurt me and took away my money, and now I have nothing. Now, and then people will say, it's right for me to, ang to be angry because he took away my money. It's not just yelling at me. Yelling at me doesn't have to hurt me, but the money, take away the money, hurts me. But if we have faith in God, we'll say, I seek first the kingdom of God, and His righteousness and all these things can be given back to me. 
And the more anger I have, the more he will steal from me. Have you seen divorced women or men? They hurt, they continue to hurt, and they continue to lose. They lose the whole life. Have you seen people like that? They're angry for the whole lifetime. But if they can let go and say, okay, the man has left me, I just let go, and I can have the joy of the Lord, and I can start a new life again. That way, God can give it back to me. Then he can have his strength restored. So even when people steal money from you, you say, the money is already stolen, I cannot do anything about it. If I just let go, I can have my joy again. Now, what I just taught you is very, very important. If you learn it, apply it, you will be able to overcome any negative feeling and affect uh, how people affect you, and your life will have victory. The reason why I can have joy like this is because I really handle all negative influence by people. Any negative thing, I always handle right away. For instance, when I came, I noticed on my plane ticket, it didn't have the middle name. I told pastor, but actually I was not worried because I know God has a plan, but I told him to pray. I told him to pray, but in my heart, I say God has a way. And in my heart, it's like this. Even if God wants me to go back now without going to Liberia, God still has his plan. I say, God, you have a wonderful plan. And then it all works out. So now I keep here. So, hallelujah. So I choose not to be affected by anyone or any situation. That's, I hope. I only want to eat good things from God and from good people. Good people say good things to me, I will take it. But bad things I won't take. And, but I won't yell at him. I will just, I won't take it seriously. Okay? Any question? If not, we will have the lunch time now. Thank God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God, somebody will not be happy with the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank God for giving me this teaching. It's not me, it's God. Amen.